Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel, my name is Luis and today I'm re-uploading this video about remote system monitor just because uh, the previous video I choose a music that had uh, a strike, it seems it was not um, royalty free and for that reason I had, uh, I had to take down the sound and doing that my uh, my voice uh, was also taken down so there is no voice description no voice no talking during the video it's only music and it's more complex to follow okay so let's start again so in order to 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 have this running we need the server on the your windows machine so you will you will download the, the server for windows and then you will have to also install the remote system monitor on your android device smartphone or tablet in order to connect to your server and be able to retrieve all the information to fit the widgets okay so we need to access the server using the IP and the password previous seen in the Windows computer because in the same house or in the same network you can have you can have more than one computer so you need to specify exactly which machine do you wish to monitor yes you can have more than one running at the same time so each time one on your screen but in the application you can switch between machines okay so so as you can see you can see directly without widgets all the information that's coming in from the server to your android's uh, device but this is feeding all the information and if you want to create a dashboard with specific widgets we need to create it okay and to be able to do that we need to to give some money to the developer okay so we need to to make a donation otherwise you will not be able to use the widgets and as you can see I'm receiving information that, that I already own the application that means that I already done the donation otherwise I couldn't do the, the widget dashboard so this was something strange with the application but it, it will be solved in a moment So basically there are some settings that we need to change if you want Fahrenheit or centigrade full screen etc then you will be able to create the dashboard so you will say you will give it a name you will inform how many items you want per row etc then you select the server and we will connect the widgets to that server so we will be able to select from the 
from all the data coming from the server like the CPU, the GPU, the Ethernet connection, the Wi-Fi connection, the SSD, the hard disk drive, all the data coming from the server we can create widgets. We can also change the type of widgets if you want a circular, if you want bars and also the color okay so I will do this one as a, 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 an example I will create one or two widgets inside so we need to add the server then select the kind of widget and you should, you should give a name to the sensor otherwise we will have an, a lot of widgets and we don't know exactly what kind of information is being displayed so okay so here I'm selecting the CPU package and then the color and then the values is you, you should put the values and here we have it the first sensor working and then you just continue to add sensor until you are satisfied you put different colors remember to put the name and then we are able to change the widgets position so if you start by the CPU but instead of it you want to start by the RAM you can move the sensors within the, the display with the arrows so you can rearrange widgets accordingly and also color if you made a mistake you don't want to that one to be green instead you you want it to be purple it's easy you just edit that one or remove that one and create a new one that's how we do it but if you have a friend or somebody that uh, has already done this kind of configuration and is is willing to share with you the, the the configuration file like I am willing to share with you you just import and tada will be ready I will be showing you so this is how you can construct your dashboard and please if you are enjoying this video please give it a thumbs up it will help the channel it will tell it YouTube that this video is good and sh more people should see it and I will be really happy with your luck okay so as you can see it's not difficult but let's import the configuration that I already made so we can increase the number of widgets uh, you can see and also the refresh rate I have at one second but you can change if you don't want you, or if you don't need to refresh so fast You see you can change with the arrows the position so up and down right and left and bigger and smaller so use your creativity to create the most awesome dashboard okay so now let's import the one that I already created that I'm willing to share with everybody just 
I will leave a link in the in the video or in the next video the one that I will be I will be doing this for my Windows 11 installation and I don't want to to start from scratch so I will do this I will import so I will create a new video and I would I will leave this uh, this configuration file there to be used so just check the other video and here you have it this is my dashboard feel free to use it feel free to change it and don't forget if this video was useful to you it was helpful please leave it a like and consider to subscribe and check my other videos thank you very much I catch you on a new video bye bye